Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is believing in the promises of God. Faith is believing what your natural eyes can't see. Let me put it this way. Faith says, I don't have to physically see the blood of Jesus for me to believe that I'm protected. Faith says, I don't have to physically see angels for me to believe the word of God that tells me that the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him. Faith says, I don't even have to see the Holy Spirit for me to believe that he has power and he is a comforter and a teacher. You see, faith is a requirement for every believer. It is the core of our Christian living. It's by faith that we come to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. It is also by faith that we live our lives with joy and gladness, knowing that there is eternity to be spent with the Father above. And perhaps one of the most prominent verses in the Bible about faith is Hebrews 11:6. But without faith, it is impossible to please Him, for he who comes to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Are you standing in faith? Are you living by faith? Are you walking by faith? Faith is a life of action based on what you believe to be true. For example, the action of not worrying. That is a result of you having the faith that God is in control. The action of not trying to fix everything. That too is a result of you having the faith that God is in control. Jesus Christ said, let not your hearts be troubled. Why did he say this? because he wants you to have faith that he will take care of all your needs. Another way to understand or define faith can be summed up in the following way. Faith is doing your part, which is trusting God to do his part. Your part is to believe. That's all you need to do. And then you leave God to do his part. Your part is to stand on God's word his word that says nothing is impossible with God. So let me ask you, are you doing your part? Are you believing? Are you believing and standing on God's word? Are you walking by faith and not by sight? Strong faith comes from knowing and believing that Jesus Christ not only rose from the dead, but he defeated the devil. He defeated death, hell, and the grave. Strong faith comes from meditating on God's Word. Strong faith is cultivated and developed when you not only read the Word of God, but you internalize it. You ponder on it and dwell on it. I would even go so far as saying strong faith comes as a product of great trials. When you think about some of the heroes of faith in the Bible and all the trials they went through, you'll see that all of them had one thing in common. They were unshakable in their faith. They were strong in faith. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, but he held on to God. Paul and Silas were beaten, chained up and imprisoned, but they still praised God. Moses stood in front of the Red Sea and called on God. These are all great examples of men who stood their ground and trusted in the Lord, even when all the odds were against them. No matter what they faced, their faith was not shaken. Their faith was not broken because they knew that the God whom they served is bigger, greater, and more powerful than anything or anyone else who they could come up against. We can learn a lot from the believers in the Bible, from how they dealt with adversity. Because even in the present day, we often find ourselves in situations where our faith is put to the test and we must decide how we will respond. Your trial may not look like theirs. Your trial may not be a den of hungry lions or being chased by an Egyptian army into an enormous body of water. But it might seem just as hopeless and just as intimidating. But here's what the Bible says in 1 Peter 1, 6-7. In all this you greatly rejoice, Though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith, of greater worth than gold, 
which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. No matter what your hardship might be, be strong in faith. Don't allow yourself to be moved because as soon as you let go of God's sure promises, you are bound to get swept up into the madness of this world. Jesus Christ is the only sure foundation. In this fickle and ever-changing world, He is our steadfast anchor. Circumstances change, people change, social norms and public perceptions change, but the Word of God remains true forever. In the book of Matthew, Jesus says, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. That's why we can stand confidently in Him. That's why we can cling to Him. When we feel like we're slipping away into the chaos of life, He will rescue us and place our feet back on solid ground. What does it mean to be unshakable in your faith? It doesn't mean never having doubts. It doesn't mean never being afraid. It simply means that when trouble comes our way, we don't panic. We don't lose hope. We don't turn to the world or to ourselves for answers. Instead, we are able to rest in the promises of God. The thing about Daniel and Paul and Moses was that they understood the stakes. They understood that even if nothing went their way, even if they ended up suffering deeply, it would be worth it because knowing Jesus was so valuable, so precious to them. Can the same be said for you? Do you treasure Jesus above your own life? He is worthy and he wants you to experience abundant life by trusting him and obeying his word. So when trouble comes your way, stand firm. Be unswayable, be immovable, be unshakable. I encourage you to seek, to call, to chase the one who commands millions of angels, the one who speaks and creates. Call on the one who has the keys to life and death in his hands. So whatever situation you face today, Whatever circumstance or situation you're up against, God wants you to call on Him.